Now, with that, I have a couple of interesting. We have a few uh, clips that we're just going to put up. We could turn the lights a little bit lower. I think you'll find them interesting. And then we'll answer some questions. I'll ask you some questions because you're so guilty, but forget it. Uh, but most importantly, we're going to get back onto the reason we're here, which is the success we're having. Okay? Uh, please, you can put it on. Thank you. People should be more concerned right now with the flu in this country. A lot of people are concerned about the coronavirus because they're hearing a lot of news about it right now. But the reality is, comparing it to the flu, for example, it's not even close to being at that stage. What if it is worse? Is this a moment where maybe countries put politics aside, a little bit of pride aside, and do we have U.S. officials? Should U.S. professionals such as yourself get involved? How worried should Americans be about coronavirus? Coronavirus is not going to cause a major issue in the United States. Well, we've asked them to accelerate whatever they're doing in terms of a vaccine. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Medicare patients can now visit any doctor by phone or video conference at no additional cost. The first one million masks will be available immediately. As there were more cases, and it was clear that it was spreading out of China, where it originated. The president took this move that he was widely criticized for by Democrats and even some Republicans at the time, which was he halted a number of flights from China into the U.S. The idea was to halt the spread of the disease, keep transmissions to a minimum. He was accused of xenophobia. He was accused of making a racist move. At the end of the day, it was probably effective because it did actually take a pretty aggressive measure against the spread of the virus. His team is on it. They've been responsive late at night, early in the morning, uh, and they've uh, thus far been doing everything that they can do. And I want to say thank you. And I want to say that I appreciate it. He returns calls. He reaches out. Uh, he's been proactive. Uh, we got that mercy ship down here in Los Angeles. That was directly because he sent it down here. 2,000 uh, medical uh, units came to the state of California, these FMS, these, these field medical stations. Uh, and that's been very, very helpful. The president has been... Uh uh, outstanding uh, through all this. The vice president's been outstanding. Members of the coronavirus task force, very responsive. We had asked if we could have, New Jersey could have access to a piece of the beds that are on the USNS Comfort, and the president came back, called me a short few minutes before I walked in here to say, indeed, they would grant that to New Jersey. So that's a big step for us, in addition to all the other capacity. That news is literally hot off the press. And I thank the president and vice president who are on the call together. President Trump approved Arizona's request for a presidential major disaster declaration. I want to thank the president for a quick turnaround. We requested this on a Wednesday and we had approval by Saturday morning. And we are grateful to the administration for their continued support and responsiveness. Well, first of all, I want to uh, thank uh, the, the, the president and the vice president for doing a really good job of communicating with all the governors. So we could give you hundreds of clips like that from governors, including Democratic or Democrat, as I call them, governors, which is actually the correct term. Uh, we could give you hundreds of clips just like that. We have them. Uh, we didn't want this to go on too long, but I just want to say it's, uh, you know, it's very sad when people write false stories like, in that case, I guess it was gotten mostly from the New York Times, which is a highly, I mean, if you had libel laws, uh, they would have been out of business even before they'll end up going out of business.